Well, the journey wasn't easy. The family had to be safely evacuated from Afghanistan via Pakistan. They were taken to Islamabad airport where they flew into Cyprus and then they arrived at RAF Bryce Norton on Friday on a military flight. They are currently um, staying in a hotel. They've been told to quarantine, although they have come from an amber list country. Um, so they're staying in a hotel until while the authorities look for appropriate accommodation for them. They were in Pakistan for nearly five weeks and then the British Eye Commission, they helped them there and then which they finally arrived by the uh, uh, Royal um, uh, Air Forces. Jamal was an interpreter for the British Army who was resettled in the UK a few years ago. Jamal's father worked for the British Army in the military headquarters. I mean, this is a family that gave everything to support us. Jamal's brother was shot and very badly wounded by the Taliban a number of years ago. Jamal's father was denied the right to resettle in the United Kingdom. Um, earlier this year under the new Afghan relocation scheme. And this is how I came to hear of it. Thankfully, the Secretary of State for Defence, during the evacuation, reviewed Jamal's father's case, Shaista's case, and granted him eligibility. I met up with Jamal when I was last in the UK in, um, in late August and early September. We talked about how we could help his father, you know, to get to Islamabad for relocation. And, and as Jamal will have told you, that's exactly what's happened. I mean, it's a remarkable story of courage and initiative and, and great dedication.